good. You gonna eat it? Can you eat it? Yeah. Make sure there ain't no bugs on it. See any bugs? Blow on it real good. I don't see anything. Blow it off. <sighs> Try it. Get your little nibble. You ready or no? It's good. You gonna eat it? You like it? Bitter. Mm. It's sour. It's a little sour, but it's not bad. So, we've been working in the garden this morning. It's about noon 30 now. Uh, we spent most of our morning in the garden uh, trying to catch up, letting the weeds go. Right now, we're hanging out under our little mulberry tree. And Shorty here found a blackberry up underneath. I guess there's some blackberries under there, so I guess I'll let those grow as well. And then, uh, what else is in here? Mulberries. Yeah, mulberries here. I'll turn it around and I'll try to show you one or two. I don't know if you can see it, but there's the makings of some new ones. I've seen a lot of people already this year already picking their mulberries. I don't know if we're farther north and running behind or what. And you might see some oak leaves in here because this oak tree is mingling with our little mulberry tree here. But we're, uh, we're piddling in the garden. There's a couple of peaches down there on the peach tree. And uh, we're just moving right along. So anyway, as I was saying, we've been messing with the garden some, and uh, the idea was, well, let me just look you around. The best part about doing this is uh, people with experience, they, uh, they reply, and I enjoy that, and I learn things from them. So uh, one of the suggestions with all the water and rain, which as you can see, like I said, it's about noon 30, noon 40 now. And it's fixing the storm yet again. I don't know if you can see the, I think those are snap peas maybe, or English peas, peas. My wife's peas. So what I've done is our cucumbers that we saved last year didn't grow. So we tilled it back up with a little hand tiller. And then all of our other beans and such, I tilled on each side of those. And when it stops raining, I can go down through here with the hoe and take some of the grass, I say me, we can do that. Take some of the extra grass out. I did that to the tomato plants about a week ago or so, and they look really good. They cleaned up nice, I've never used a hoe before. And you can see over there I tilled basically the walking rows so the water can get off the plants. Uh, the idea is if the ground is busted up, the water will soak down, I guess, away from the plants. So, if you have any more tips or tricks or ideas, let us know. We, need some, we still need some more tomato cages, which we may go get those today since we're both off and it's uh, about to rain and nothing to do. So anyway, short video about gardens and such and just doing the little things and now we're going to go cool off and rest our old bones, <laughs> our not so old bones. We were talking about maybe just doing something every day for about half an hour to an hour if we can. It would really improve our garden and it would probably help us as well stay active. So it's fixing the rain pretty good. I'm going to sign off. Uh, that's pretty much it for the day. Y'all have a good one.